In this module, we will learn how to configure Download Insight and Sonar. Download Insight is a protection technology that is integrated into common download portals, such as web browsers and instant messaging. This is a component of the AutoProtect technology and uses the Insight Reputation database to protect against possibly malicious files that users are trying to download. The reputation data is found in the Semantic Online Database, which stores data from semantic and community-based reputation data for all executable files. This allows exoneration or conviction of possible threats and the ability to skip trusted files. This technology is used in virus and spyware protection scans, sonar scans and auto-protect scans. Let us now configure Download Insight. On the Policies page, we need to select the Virus and Spyware Protection Policy. Before we configure Download Insight, it is important to check that AutoProtect is enabled. For if you disable AutoProtect, then the Download Insight cannot function even if it is enabled. So under the Protection Technology section, we can see the AutoProtect settings. Here we can see it is enabled. I'm going to click the padlock to lock it to prevent any users from disabling this feature. We can review the other settings. We can see the scanning of file types, specifying which files or processes to be scanned by AutoProtect. Scanning all files is the most secure option, but you can improve scan performance by selecting specific extensions. However, you might decrease the protection on your computer. Under the additional options, you can scan for security risks and block security risks from being installed. On the Actions tab, you can review the default settings for malware and security risks and change them if you wish. On the Notifications tab, we can set up to notify the user when a virus or security risk is found. If we select the Download Protection, we can configure Download Insight. We can see the current level of sensitivity when detecting malicious files based on the file reputation. At the minimum setting, it will only block files that are highly likely to be malicious, but many will be considered unproven, and the false positive detection is very low. If we were to move the slider scale up, then only files that have a good reputation will be skipped but the possibility of detecting false positives is high. We can also set the number of users that must be trusting the file and the number of days it has been known in the settings below. We also have the Actions tab to decide on what action to take for malicious file detection. And we can configure notifications to specify a warning message that appears if the user allows the file. The sonar configuration is simply enabling it on or off. When enabled, it runs at all times, taking advantage of the reputation data to help quickly convict or exonerate the file. Under the global scan options, we can change the settings that will affect all virus scans. We can change the setting for Insight to use the information on files that have been gathered by either Semantic and the trusted Semantic community, or Semantic information only. The data will be used to assist in judging if the file is considered to be good. The scan can then skip the files that Semantic trusts, therefore enabling the scan to run faster. 
If you enable Bloodhound, it uses heuristics to analyze the program logic for virus-like behavior. You can specify the sensitivity for detection. This is now configured Download Insight and Sonar. We would now need to apply this policy to one of our groups. And this brings us to the end of that module.